Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Marla. I am actually in California right now. When I originally filmed this particular video, I was in Florida, but I am now in California and I was just uploading it on my YouTube channel for you guys. But I wanted to, this is kind of a funny way I got this perfume. This is the perfume by Ralph Lauren and it's called Safari. Now, the way I came to obtain this perfume is my aunt came down from New Jersey to visit me, oh, probably about a month or so ago. And my aunt, even though she's in her 80s, is very chic. She's very hip for an 80 year old woman. She looks like she really should be 60, but she's built really cute, really petite. I'm really tall and um, she's just, always dress is so adorable. She loves Ralph Lauren. She lives by a lot of the outlets up in New Jersey. I guess they have a lot of Ralph Lauren outlets. We do too down here, but she's a big fan of Ralph Lauren. So anyway, when she came down, she was dressed fabulously well. She had a gorgeous kind of mustard uh, leather jacket on with a, uh, with a mustard fringed leather purse she was wearing. And I gave her a hug. And when I gave her a hug, I smelled her and I thought to myself, wow, you smell so nice. So I said to her, I said, you really smell lovely. What are you wearing? And she said she was wearing Ralph Lauren Safari, but they don't make it anymore. She said they stopped, they discontinued it a while ago. They don't make it anymore. Well, I guess she went back to New Jersey and looked it up. And apparently I believe they do have this now or they brought it back. Because if you look at the Ralph Lauren website, you can purchase the Safari off the website. So because I said that to her, she went home, went to the website, ordered a bottle for me and sent it to me in Florida. Now, this is an expensive cologne. It's about, I think this size is the 2.5 ounce size. It's $60, so it's fairly expensive. When you look at the Ralph Lauren website, it's listed as color being gold. I'm, I just don't know why they would put a particular color of a perfume on, you know, as listed, but it's listed as the color gold. And what's funny is, did you ever smell a perfume on somebody that you thought was fabulous, but then when you put it on yourself, you kind of didn't like it or you really didn't like it and the people around you really hated it? Well, that's kind of the story or the saga of this poor Ralph Lauren Safari perfume. When you look at what it's supposed to smell like, it's supposed to smell like exotic, floral, citrus scents, and they list some other things in there that I really am not familiar with. I'm not even gonna say what they are. I'm not kind of familiar with what, what the scent should be associated with those flowers, but leave it to say, it's described as an exotic floral citrus scent. Now, <laughs> when I got this, I went to my bathroom and I smelled it and I thought, you know, it's kind of a, a more mature woman scent. I usually like kind of very crisp, clean, oh, more like the philosophy scents with flowers or just very clean linen smelling, fresh laundry, you know, come out of the shower scents on your skin. This is more of that kind of slightly heavier, more mature woman scent. However, when I sniffed it on my aunt's head, it smelled pretty good. So I got it home and I smelled it. And I said, yeah, it's a little strong, but I kind of like it. It's, it's not bad. It does last all day. If you squirt this on, this will stay with you all day long. But I guess the thing that kind of bothered me a little bit is I squirted this on when I was in my bathroom. I know I'm making a long drawn out story about this, but it's kind of funny. I squirted this on in my bathroom and I didn't tell anybody in the house that I was testing out my new perfume. Squirted it on my bathroom. I just gave it two little squirts. And I guess the aroma traveled down the hall into my bedroom. And the next thing I know is my significant other in the bedroom who was reading at the time, he started sneezing and I could hear him yelling out, what is that horrible sm smell that I'm smelling right now? Did you just squirt some type of horrible perfume on? And I said, yes, I came out and he continued to sneeze. And I guess that set off his allergies because it was kind of strong. So I'm laying there and it was about 30 minutes later and my 17 year old son comes in 
and he came in to get our dog. And the first thing out of his mouth was, God, it smells like a nursing home in here. So that kind of did it right there for me. You know, between the nursing home, the set off the sneezing, the horrible smell. I can't believe this perfume is getting such bad reviews by my family. But nobody wants to be around me when I wear this cologne. So the only way I can wear this is if I go by myself somewhere. And hopefully other people don't think the same thing about it. But it is, again, they do make it now. It's back on the website. It smelled good in my aunt, but it is a little strong. So if you like stronger scents, I mean, I thought it was kind of sophisticated smelling when I smelled it, and I still kind of do. I really do kind of still like it, but nobody around me likes it. I don't know. I don't know why. I just thought I would at least do a quick kind of review of the Safari by Ralph Lauren, which is being sold back on their website. It might have been discontinued a while ago, but it is back on there being sold again. Thought I would just throw this one out there for you. Hope you are having a good, good day. If I can bring some pictures back with me from San Francisco, and if you're not totally bored, I will, uh, watching my videos, I will maybe put some of those pictures on the ends of my videos so you can see kind of where I was and what I was doing when I was out in San Francisco. Hope you guys are having a great day. Have a great week. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.